competency downing, you have to be um, competitive, team oriented, and a little bit creative and crazy. Along. Back in the day, we had no idea. Everything was so different every single year. So I think you guys have it a little bit easier, but you also have more people now to uh, make it interesting. To be a guided office Olympics champion, you have to have an awesome captain like myself or Tasula pick out the perfect team and make sure that your chemistry works. It's not really about who's the most athletic. It's office Olympics. You just kind of got to wing it sometimes. Luck, of course, and it helps with um, who you know. I really don't think I have anyone to settle a score with, but people might need to settle scores with me because I beat them so many times at all the events, so bring it. <laughs> My name is Sarah Engel. Do I remember anybody cheating? Joe Wishcamper. He, on multiple occasions, tried to body check me out of the way in order to win. Um, little did he know, I was stronger and taller and quickly pushed him out of the way and ended up beating him. Uh, my name is David Nelson, and uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Guidance Financial. Well, you know, the idea for the, uh, the Guidance Olympics originated from, um, you know, really our kind of desire to continue to improve as leaders. And so, you know, we study great leaders, you know, in the form of reading and, um, you know, through EO and things like that. And one of the leaders that Jeremy and I have just been extremely... Um, grateful to have been able to learn from was the great Michael Scott. You know, one of my favorite events of all time was uh, Eat It or Beat It, uh, and watching Keith Tracy actually dislodge his jaw to put a, a potato the size of my sweet um, horse's head in his mouth was one of the most amazing moments in Guidance history. I, can't confirm or deny whether or not people cheat in the Guidance Olympics, um, and I can also not uh, comment on the fact uh, as to whether or not the judges have ever been uh, um, bribed. You know, if I was looking to bribe Jeremy, I think it's pretty clear ugly socks and sweater vests would be the home run. You know, I think in order to be inducted into the Guidance Hall of Fame, you know, you'd have to be a competitor like Eric Ames who was wicked smart, right? He uh, was supposed to eat a whole Costco muffin within seconds and he walked over to the faucet and wet it down so he could swallow it in one bite. Uh, quite impressive, by the way. And uh, I think, you know, bring great energy. Gina Alsdorf was always on a competitive team because I think she's just naturally a lightning rod. Um, or, when all else fails, be Greg Carson because, you know, seems like a nice guy but he's a total uh, He's a total competitor, so he's uh, not quite as nice uh, whether you're on his team or not. Uh, I'm Jeremy Ames. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and co-CEOs here at Guiden. I'm not sure if the idea for the Guiden Olympics came while I was in the shower or while David was on the toilet, but we claim that it came from an episode of The Office. So my favorite costume, Marty Leggings. So this was when uh, our teams dressed up as different franchise or partners that we worked with. He was some kind of fitness company, I don't remember, but he was, he was very 80s chic. <laughs> so my very favorite event ever was when we did an eating contest. And we got these huge Costco muffins that we brought in. And if you've ever tried to eat one of those, it literally takes about a half an hour. And so everybody sits down, and Eric gets down, sits there, pours a glass of water and sets it there. And everyone's looking at it thinking, oh, he's just going to have a sip of water. And then they say, go. Eric starts dunking this huge muffin in the water, smearing it in his face. It was everywhere. It was beautiful. So to bribe, bribe Dave, um, tell him he's pretty. Um, you like his hair? Tell him he looks skinny. Ask him if he's lost some weight. Um, tell him he has really interesting things to say, that you think he's so incredibly smart and talented. Um, you could also compliment him on his car, his shoes, his belt, his watch, um, literally anything you can think of um, that has to do with accessories would be highly productive. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor.
may the odds be ever 